Hello viewers, welcome to today's edition of Census 360 Investor. Today we'll take a look at two things. One, the markets, and then we will go through and take a look at the stocks that have been the winners since the uptrend started back in May. So let's uh, begin with the, uh, the markets. And um, we're going to take a look at the, the longer term time frames first. So we're on the weeklies here. And we can see that uh, the broader NASDAQ is clearly in an uptrend and it, it uh, popped up price-wise um, above the, uh, the, the left side high on some, um, <clears throat> with some force. However, as we can see, the, uh, the volume is only marginally above the prior week. So, and, and the volume here, although we've had some up weeks, it is about average. So it's not like super, super strong, but there's enough showing up here to, on, on a weekly basis that indicates that you know, there's probably a little bit more thrust uh, further ahead. And then, so let's take a look at the NDX, which is the the, the Nasdaq 100. So this is what the QQQ is based on. Again, on, on the weekly chart, we can see uh, some nice <clears throat> volume blue bars down here. So we've got some nice updates. And this is kind of uh, mirroring the broader NASDAQ on the, on the weekly. So since uh, that pullback and undercut back in mid-April, we've actually seen a nice little pop and close to um, low teens percentage-wise. Okay, so if we then take a look at <clears throat> the SPX, in the SPX, <clears throat> we can see very similar to the broader NASDAQ, and the volumes may be a tad light, but there's been a pickup in the last couple of weeks. And if we look at, well, let's look, look at a couple of other indexes, the, the NYSE, for example, and on the NYSE and the weekly. So here's a slightly different picture now starting to emerge. So this has obviously got more stocks in this index, and the, we, we're not seeing the same uptrend momentum as we saw in the the Nasdaqs and the S and P five hundred, because you know they're they're a smaller set portfolio set, and they're dominated by tech. So this one is a lot broader, and we can see a little bit of a different picture. So with that in mind, let's also take a look at the equal weighted spider and we can see a different story here so we're not seeing the same level of momentum which is telling us that uh, there is a different story in terms of breath so whereas the uh, cap weighted is showing good momentum to the upside the equal weighted which uh, equalizes for uh, um, into the market cap by uh, by waiting is actually failed to make a new high here and it's popping back it's still finding support so this will be interesting to watch to see what happens here a breakdown here or an undercut over here will start to uh, give us uh, additional warning and if we look at the nasdaq 100 equal weighted as well and we can see again slightly different picture so if we go from the, the, if you take out the market cap heavyweights, like NVIDIA, Microsoft, Apple, and adjust, uh, adjust them on a equal weighting allocation, we can see that the uh, momentum isn't quite there. So we've got a little difference in, um, so we can surmise from this that uh, it's the big tech, um, the big market cap, big tech stocks that are driving this. And so with that, um, and let's take a look at one more composite index, which is the value line geometric index, which is also showing the same thing. So we're not seeing a big, strong move up. In fact, this one's been cycling back and forth, unable to take out these levels. And now it's testing again and pulling back in. So that's telling us that the, the market is uh, a little bifurcated for sure. And we might as well take a look at the small caps since we're here. And with the small caps again, very similar to the value line geometric index, 
try to make a move up here. So from a trend perspective, we can see it's trying to make an uptrend, but it didn't quite take a new high here. So unless we can take this out in the next couple of weeks, then there may be a trend beginning to <clears throat> change over here as well. So let's go back to the broader NASDAQ and switch back to the daily chart. So here we can see that we'll be moving up and we have an absence of distribution days in this area here. So, and we've got a number of up days and a couple of those, so four clean solid updates and heavy volume. And <clears throat> two of those days mark like a 1% move up. So that is positive in the short term. And then both of those were kind of major accumulation days. So definitely some strength in the uh, in the broader NASDAQ, but overall the picture looks a little bit different when you go to the equal weighted charts. Okay, so that's a look at the market. So let's now switch our focus on take a look at a few other things. Okay, so now let's take a look at the stocks that have had the best run up since the, uh, the follow through day back in early early May. And so I've got I've got a screen here that uh, shows us that. So we'll run through and then just take a look at uh, what's at the top and then um, see what's appearing. See how many of these you may have on your watch list or in your portfolios. And so this is just a direct um, scan against the uh, the Warden database, which is about 6,000 stocks. All right, so let's have a look. Um, so we can see here, so I won't comment on each one of these because I'd rather show you them them and the tick and you can go grab the tickers. The tickers are up in the left hand corner up here. If you want to, we'll pause and just write them down or uh, you can catch them from the list down here. So first one is Insmed. So this is grouped by the ones that have had the uh, the biggest run. So back in May, and this is another weekly chart. So let's just have orient us. So about here, yeah, five, uh, so roughly follow through was about here. So if I just put on a, a marker as we go through, then you'll be able to see so this marker here, and we'll make this uh, available on all symbols so that it will just carry forward. So this marker here every, to the right is the move from basically the follow through day. Okay. All right. So Ensmed, and just to give you an idea. So this one is up 146% roughly. Let's just check that out. Okay, and then we can see roughly, yep, 146. So, and the percentage up is over here. So, this one's up 146%. We'll just work that down. Way down, <coughs> hims and herself, it's up 103. So, you doubled your money in those. So, it's up 100%, 103% as well. AMSC, which is uh, American Superconductor Corp, is up 88. GameStop, which is the meme stop with uh, the Roaring Kitty, whatever that person <clears throat> on these meme stocks, pushed us up to 76%, quite the wild ride. And then next up is Harrow and Medicals, this one's up 71%. CRDO, it's up uh, 67 GH. Is up fifty-eight uh, percent, and so this one actually, in fact, both of these uh, <clears throat> point. Uh, so there is a um, in in momentum trading. There's a tendency to want to look at uh, all-time highs or or stocks making new highs, etc., within a certain time period. But here you can see that this stock was in a, clearly in a downtrend, and then that trend has now reversed 
and starting to move back up. So we found it found a bottom here the undercut of this two double small areas here. So a little bottoming action. And from there it's moved up 58%. So by eliminating opportunities like this, uh, if you just focus on uh, all-time highs, you, you, so you wouldn't get these on your radar. So it it pays to um, have a, take a wider perspective, a broader view of, uh, of what you're looking at. Okay, so disk medicine has had a gap up, and it's left me filling that gap. Gap down, I mean. Okay, Bluebird Corporation, is the electric scooters, whatever. Um, Fisco, Vico. So these are both the last one. This one's at 52. Uh, iron was at 53. So all of these are now we get to 47% for uh, US Cellular Corp. Avidity Bioscience is up 50.5%. Uh, ARM is up 47%. And so just going back to ARM, this has been on our IPO. Um, stock list so clearly it's a good breakout here shot up and earnings came back in and then really if you can see at the uh follow through day it's moved up pretty smartly and now it's retesting the these highs from here so that one's got and semis in general are on fire right now Merisco engineering corporation again another one that uh, was in a downtrend downtrend changes you can see support little bottoming action here and now it's starting to begin to move and when they start to begin to move uh, to the upside on a trend change you can capture quite a bit of the move so that's the advantage of looking at those okay, so next up is uh gene dx medical another turnaround so sock cell uh so i've included the triples in here so sock cell has the had the best performance uh, of you know, the triples, of the, the, the kind of the more major triples. Um, so this one is up forty five percent in that old time, which makes sense because of the action of the semis. And then we've got uh, similar. So here's one that's got very nice, solid action. So these are the kind of stocks that you want to try and grab, uh, because look at the uniformity, and the and just the nice tight action off the uptrend fairly behaving fairly well we'll pull back here to support first pull back here since the breakout and then bounces off there so this was obviously a viable point here and now the stock is up 43 uh, percent since the uh, the uptrend which in this case coincides with it being in the base nvidia after the split so again, so just go back to NVIDIA. So NVIDIA is up uh, since the uptrend at forty-two percent. Obviously, it's been it's up huge um, since its uh, earnings around the announcement of AI. Uh, but since the last uptrend, we can see that there are at least nineteen stocks, and if we take our stocks, so eighteen stocks that have outperformed NVIDIA. Uh, so if you missed NVIDIA for whatever reason, or you're not in NVIDIA. Um, it's not the only game in town, as as we can see from this uptrend. There have been other stocks that have uh, well outperformed it. For those of you who do have Nvidia, obviously you're doing extremely well with the stock being up forty two percent. Then we go to uh, CareDX CDNA, which is almost up as much the same as Nvidia is. CCSI was consensus cloud. So here again we see a downtrending stock starting to to reverse. First solar. Is up forty one percent. Neo Gen, another medical, is up forty. Then we get to Grayscale. So this is an ETF around Bitcoin. So this one's up almost forty percent. SG, which is Sweet Green Inc. Uh, restaurants, uh, just under thirty nine percent up since the uptrend. NVCR is uh, up. 38%. Moving on, Chewies is the next one. 
and we can see again another reversal starting to move up this up to show you 40 percent alpha nomica semiconductors another reversal zim which is the shipping logistics again another reversal vitl so this one's in a strong up uptrend up 37 percent urgn 37 percent soc had quite the move from being a low under ten dollar stock and then something happened here we, yeah, we exploded just came back sell back in and now it's uh <clears throat> off to the races look for a base for that stok stock stock therapeutics up 36 wix is it so we're that one's up 36 percent elan drug manufacturers so we can see that uh in groupon quite a few medicals quite a few technology uh, some retail in here in this list but these are all healthy now we're up into this down to 35 percent movers so we'll just run this down to around the 30 percent up because that's uh more than the 20 percent target that say you want to take your profits at with uh cancer names of bros which is uh, dutch bros restaurants is up 35 Cirrus is up 34 Camp T is up 34. PWSC is up uh, 35. Boil up. Okay, Boil, which uh, is uh, an ETF, a triple ETF. Skip that. Nova Semis is up 33. Home Improvement Our House is up 33. TechL, which is an ETF. Broadcom, which had a, quite the move this week um, on earnings, up uh, 33. There's a lot of semis in this list. AGO, more pharmaceuticals, 31. LXEO is up 31. Texas Pacific Land Trust, uh, they did have a split recently, and that one's moving back to close to its highs. GMAD and Globus is up 31. ITOS is up 30. NCR is up 30. Matt Teho. SRDX is up 29. So that's uh, almost up 30. So that's uh, about 50 stocks which are up 30 percent or more since the uptrend and so hopefully you have some of these uh quite a few of these actually come through this are in the sensor lists various sensor lists and simcom lists so definitely the opportunity uh was afforded to you um to pick some of these up and uh so that means that the, uh, the process that we're running is is good because the first thing you need is opportunity and the second thing you need to be able to execute and the third thing is then to maximize on your execution to maximize your profits on these. But I just wanted to show that uh, at, at, there's at least around 50 stocks that um, are 30% or more. And there's more above, obviously more in this list that are higher than 20%. So the opportunity has been good. The markets uh, definitely in the NASDAQ look favorable, although we do have some divergences uh, with equal weights something to watch out for but the name of the game at this stage is to play it out and as i mentioned that the, the leaders index did break uh, uh, a few days ago and it's now retesting its uh break point so we'll see if that shows up if it firms up then uh, that may run again okay so that's the end of this video so thanks for watching thanks for listening i will see you next time goodbye have a good weekend and happy father's day